Hello, and welcome back to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, I am here with your September Twin Flame Soulmate readings. Um, not sure if I'll be doing an extended on these because I'm trying to really get these done before September comes in. So they may not be an extended. If you are Patreons, I have something in store for you guys um, next week. So just stay tuned. But for the Twin Flame Soulmate for September readings, I want to try to hurry up and get these done. So there will probably be no extended on these. But let me just also say this. I want to clarify to you all what a soulmate is, okay? We know that all twin flames are soulmates, but all soulmates are not twin flames. Twin flames is a special relationship of a union that is on a mission, a mission to move the, the, the collective forward in a very positive manner, okay? A soulmate is a relationship that could be any relationship that you learn a lesson from. So keep that in mind. Anybody that you're in a relationship with and you're learning a type of lesson from them or, or one of you is needing to really um, learn a lesson or being challenged in doing that, that's what a soulmate is. So this could reflect on any relationship today that is platonic or romantic. So always keep that in mind. You all, and I always say again, thank you, thank you, thank you for the love and support you continue to give our channel. Now, this reading today, you can apply it to your uh, your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus signs. And hello to our cross watchers. I always like to speak to them. <laughs> you guys, uh, follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. Hit that little bell, and every time I release a reading, you will be notified. Um, I, again, I just thank you for the love and support that you continue to give to the channel. Um, I think that is all I need to say. Oh, we do private readings as well. So if you want to have a private reading after this, um, that link can be found below. And don't forget to join our Patreon. And um, we are ready to get started. Now, on to our reading. Hello, my Virgos. All right, let's get right into your reading and happy Virgo season to you. <clears throat> okay, you guys, there's no time limit on this. So this could have happened three months ago, could be happening today. It could be something that you are seeing in the very near future. <clears throat> Give me a second, I have to turn off my glasses. Okay, here we go. All right, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, Universal Messages need to go forth for the Son of Virgo as it relates to the Twin Flame Soulmate Relationship for September 2020. Okay, let's see where the souls are. Let's see where the Twin Soulmate Souls are. September 2020. Wow, somebody else had this imagination in the same spot. I can't remember what sign that was. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. I want to say this is Scorpio. Um, but what this means is that you are seeing your life um, in an expanded view now. You're starting to look into your future. You're seeing how you can grow. You're seeing... Uh, you're being creative, possibly starting businesses, or just kind of seeing where you can take your life now. Maybe you're looking into getting a promotion, going back to school. You're imagining your life uh, from a different perspective of growth at this point. And somebody is indecisive, okay? So we have indecision here. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. So we have somebody who's imagining life where they can go, where a relationship can go, growth, and then somebody's very indecisive about where they want to go, okay, uh, what they want to do. I don't know why I'm feeling like this is the same person. That's the same person. That's the same person. I'm going to shuffle three times, and if something comes out, that is going to be the second person. 
Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the universe. Is there a message for a second person? Shuffle three times. Is there a message for a second person? Yep, there it is right there. Okay. Doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. So somebody is doubting. Okay, now this is making a lot, lot more sense. Okay. This person is, again, seeing where their life can go, seeing their life from another perspective, thinking about growing um, in different areas of their lives, but they're, they're kind of indecisive about how to do it, um, how to go about doing this. And this person is doubting uh, where they are, but also doubting this person here. It's like this person's trying to tell them stuff like maybe, just giving you an example, I want to start my own business. Or I want to go back to school or I want to, you know, seek this promotion at my job. And this person doesn't have faith in what this person is saying. And this person knows it. They don't believe it. Now, this makes a whole lot more sense. All right. Holy Spirit, divine, create the universe. What messages need to go forth for the 2020 soulmate relationship for September 2020? What messages need to go forth? Oh, goodness. All right, let me see if we got any flippers. Yes, we do. We actually have two flippers here. Make sure no more flippers. Okay, so let's get these in order a little bit. All right, indecisive imagination. We will be together again. Okay, so this is a breakup. Or somebody's thinking about breaking up because they, they need this person to believe in them and they're not. The stout person, I'm reminded of you constantly. Yeah, because you know that they might be on to something and you're not believing in them. Possibly could be jealousy. I got spooked. Okay, I'm not even showing you the cards, am I? Well, let me start back here. We will be together again. This person over here saying that. I'm reminded of you constantly. I got spooked. Okay. So you got spooked because they started telling you their dreams and their desires. I know I screwed things up and honestly have no idea how to fix it. Bam. There it is right there. They possibly said something. There's something. I, I still believe it's more so not believing. Not believing in a person and their dreams and their hopes and their desires. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the universal messages need to be for, for the sign of Virgo as it relates to the twin flame soulmate relationship for September 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Virgo? What does Virgo need to know? Why your cards are literally just popping up. Shuffle three more times to see if there are any more messages. Holy Spirit, divine, great universe. Are there any more messages for the sign of Virgo? Wow, a lot of nervous energy. One, two, three. Okay, so we're going to go with these. All right, somebody is coming clean. There's that love relationship right there. Unseen problems happening in the background. All right. Let's see if we got any angel numbers coming through. No angel numbers. Okay. Could be done with a Taurus or a Libra here. Uh, could be a Pisces. Got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But that could be you, Virgo, showing up here. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, this Empress in reverse. Selfishness. Um, could be this is that doubt that we're seeing over here. Um, <clears throat> thinking about themselves more so. Okay, not thinking about the other person. Um, with the Empress, this is um, 
more so selfishness, I feel. And that's what I'm feeling with this person over here. They're just thinking about themselves. They're not thinking about the hopes and the dreams of the other person. And that's this behavior that's, that's coming forth here. Um, you know, just really being excessive in, in their opinions and, and, you know, smothering the other person to the point that they're not allowing them to dream. And then that's being coupled. You got two major arcanas here, too. Uh, with the moon in reverse. So this is confusion. This is misunderstandings. Um, this is uh, with this moon here uh, in reverse. This is uh, fear. Okay. Fear that somebody may be moving on and leaving someone. Again, this relationship that's coming forth here with uh, we will be together again. Somebody couldn't take it anymore. Okay. I'm reminded of you constantly. I got spooked. I know I screwed things up and I honestly have no idea how to fix it. Confusion, misunderstandings, fear, because you're afraid you were going to lose, and here it is right here, the love of your life, okay? You want to be on one accord, uh, but this confusion, this misunderstandings is really damaging a relationship that looks like it could have really been on point, but you got this attached to it with these confusions and this misunderstandings, but it seems like if everybody's, everybody was thinking in the right mindset that this relationship would be on point, because here it is right here. Somebody's focusing on their job. They're focusing on their skills. And that's this person right here. This, this person who's imagining there. They are trying to really um, think about their own skills. Think about themselves. Think about them, their job. Think about what they can do. Okay? Their back is towards this love a relationship because they can't do it anymore. That's why this card says we will be together again. Because right now, i got to focus on me. And that's what's happening. They have to focus on them. They have to focus on what they want out of life. And they can't do that in this relationship, too. Not saying the relationship is not strong. It seems like it would have been really, really strong. But they can't do it together. They have to do it individually. Doing their own lives at this point. Um, seven of Swords in Reverse. This is coming clean. Um, about, you know, maybe your thoughts, your feelings. Or this is rethinking and the, the approach. Um, rethinking what you need to do. Um, rethinking possibly how you need to get out of this relationship or rethinking what you need to do to stabilize the relationship so you can do what you need to do. Wow. All right, let's uh, do some clarifying. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, Universe, please clarify this Empress in Reverse. Let's move these up some. Please clarify the Empress in Reverse. Please clarify the Empress in Reverse. What do we need to know about the Empress in Reverse? The Empress in Reverse is clarified with the Eight of Swords. Somebody is um, kind of in bondage here. You know, with this Eight of Swords, there are... There are is self imprisonment, and so they they are in bondage. They are um, imprisoning their self with their own mindset again. For somebody's being, being, somebody's not acting correctly. Somebody's not being the best person they can be, which is they're not thinking the best they can about this person here, which is put putting them in a mental bondage. Okay, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This is affecting a relationship, a family, possibly. Ten of Cups in reverse. This is shattered dreams. You know, by you by you putting yourself in bondage and not thinking positively, okay? Uh, thinking negatively, not being a cheerleader for somebody. You're affecting the dreams of that which, which could have been a family in the future, okay? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. And that's coupled with, look, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Dang, you got two tens. Yeah, everything is shattered. I mean, this is a legacy. That This is now a lack of purpose for what you were doing. 1010 is coming forth here, all because of this mental bondage, because this person not believing in this other person. They don't believe in their hopes and their dreams. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, but somebody has an opportunity here, and they're taking it. This person's taking this opportunity. They're going to take it, and they know that that means that there's going to be a broken family, shattered dreams, you know, uh, with this Ten of Pentacles here, that could have been a legacy. Again, a deeper commitment, committed relationship, but they can't. Please clarify the moon in reverse. What is this, what is this confusion, this misunderstanding? The spirit of bomb free of the universe. Please clarify the moon in reverse. Okay, 
this is clarified by the Empress. You got the Empress here. The confusion and misunderstandings is in regards to, again, this Empress energy that's coming forth. You got the Empress here too. See, you got the Empress in reverse, and now you got the Empress in relate in regards to this moon in reverse confusion, misunderstanding about this Empress energy. This Empress does not want to be like that. They don't want to be like that, but they're so confused because it's like they're allowing their selfishness to override who what their heart really is. Taurus, Libra energy, Five of Pentacles. They feel like they've been out in the cold. <clears throat> this person is moving on in their life because they're focusing on themselves and this person feels out in the cold. Five of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. They feel out in the cold. They feel like they're not being paid attention to. Okay, uh, Seven of Swords in reverse, please. What are they coming clean about? What are they rethinking? Or this could represent more deception. Please clarify the Seven of Swords in reverse for Virgo. Okay. This is clarified with the Queen of Swords. Yeah, somebody's coming clean, but the Queen of Swords demands total honesty, um, a, a very no-nonsense energy. And so with this person that's coming clean, if they don't tell the total truth, uh, it's going to really affect this relationship. And that's what is going on here. Yes, yeah, see, somebody's really, with the Hermit here, somebody's going deep within. Um, they're really getting spiritual guidance with this. And I feel like this is this person right here. And that's why they're not going to be, you're not going to be able to just tell them anything because they're not going to hear it and they're not going to tolerate it. And Virgo, this is you. This is you. All right, my loves, if you want to do a private reading, information pertaining to that can be found below. Until next time. Bye-bye.